So, children, um, did you go on an Easter egg hunt today? Just want to find out if anybody has done that. Yes, a few people maybe have done an Easter egg hunt. Have you eaten any chocolates yet? No, not yet. You get, you have, yeah. So you're all, all ready to go. Yes. Yeah. Maybe not all of you have started the chocolates yet. You'll be getting those maybe later on. Mom and dad said not for breakfast, but maybe later. Now, today, when I came into church, these words were up on the, up on the stage here and all done for. And I think that a story needs to be told about what Easter is really about. Now, some of you have gone on Easter egg hunts already. I see an empty basket here, and I wonder whether this needs to be filled with some eggs. So, if you see an egg, and there's quite a few of them, and there's quite a few eggs. If you see an egg, I want you to bring it up to the front. If you see an egg, bring it up to the front. Maybe check under your chairs. You can get that one. Yeah, check under the chairs. Uh, Grown-ups, you might need to help them because... Um, thank you. Okay, there are quite a few. Okay, you can just put it on, on there. Okay, put that one on there. And the other ones will go into here. If they've got tape on the, like, like this, if you can kind of take the tape off so that maybe eventually I can get into them. Thank you. There should be about, uh, oh no, we'll leave those up there, okay? Thank you. <laughs> you can help me maybe later on. And then you go back to your chair. Go back to your chair. And if you can look for other eggs, there are 12 of them. So there's still more around. So be looking under your chairs. It might be under a grown-up's chair. All the rest of the eggs are under chairs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, we've got lots here. Okay. Any others? We've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should have another five more. We should. No, there's no more up this way. There's no more up this way. They're all underneath chairs now. So you look under chairs. This could take a very long time if you're not looking very hard. <laughs> we might be here next week. Keep looking under the chairs. There are, there's one. Bring it on up. Yep. Okay, you've got another one. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. I think, come on, parents, you might need to help. Feel underneath your chairs. Make sure there's not another one. I don't know exactly where they, I, well, I do know, but I can't remember. That's the problem. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got three more to go. One more. Thank you. Okay, we should have two more to go. Oh, we got another one here. Thank you, Kiri. So, do we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? We should have one more. Nope, nope, nope. Not that one. You, that was not in here. <laughs> <laughs> you went somewhere else and got that one. <laughs> one more. And it, uh, one more egg. This is not going to work if we don't find every egg. <laughs> Have you found it? Look, put your heads down on the floor and look at the chairs. Yeah. You can't, excuse me, you can't find any more eggs. Well, keep looking because there's one more left. Please be, be there, let there be one more egg somewhere. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, tricked you. <laughs> okay, you can you can all sit down. Thank you very much. There's no more eggs to find. They're all they've all been found. Go go sit back with mom and dad. 
Okay, so we have some eggs here. Oh, I better make sure I got number one. Where is number one? There we go, number one. Okay, so we've got some eggs here, and these eggs are going to help tell the story that, about what Easter is about. And I've just got to put them all out here so they are easy to reach. Okay. So, egg number one. What might this be? For those of you who may be here for the first time, uh, those who are watching for the first time, you heard a few claps when they realized that I have a balloon here. I've had a few people ask me, are we doing balloons? Yes, we are. <laughs> so, the thing is, in the past times when I've done balloons, there have been disasters. So please expect there to be another one at some point today. Like, how does the helium come out? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So... And look at this. This gets tangled up. You know what? Before the service today, um, I look back at some past notes of previous Easter's, previous times that I've used balloons. And today I happened to see something which I hadn't noticed earlier on. It said, be careful about strings getting tangled up. So anyway, the very, very beginning, there was God. And God, we, this is the, the thing that reminds us of God, that God is one of love. That is the most important thing about God is that God loves always. God loves everyone. And so at the very beginning, there was God and God's love. And then God wanted, uh, let me just see word number two. This is going to take a while. If I, Austin, if you come up here and, um, and you can get the next egg ready for me, okay? So um, I've got number two. You just make sure that you find number three so it's ready for, for me to go. <laughs> Otherwise, this can take forever. Okay, so after God, uh, after we have the... Uh, the love that God has, God decided he wanted to, to make a world. And so God, first of all, God made... God made the sun. And God made... Okay, let's get this. I need a straw to help me on this one. I thought the world was going to be difficult, and the world is. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so God made the the sun, God made the the earth, and God loved it all. God said it was very very good. So what have I got for number 3? In, uh, where, when God made everything, he also um, set up a, a garden. And this was a beautiful garden. And, uh, and so we've got, 
Now these are all going to get tangled together, like it's happened before. So we're going to have God, God's love there. We're going to have the world there. And we're going to have the garden right there. Okay, so, so then, what else do we have here? If it gets tangled, don't, don't worry. Okay, we're good there. So, up, up with, with God in heaven... We have an angel up in heaven with God, okay? So we've got an angel up there with God. Okay, what do we, this is number, this is number five, okay? Yeah, that'll do it. Thank you. Okay, now these are definitely gonna get tangled up together, I'm sure. So after God made that beautiful garden, The helium's not going to her head. <laughs> okay, well, she's going to be floating anyway, somewhat. Okay, so God made people. God made people, and so there we've got uh, the woman. And where have we got the, there it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, come back here. <laughs> okay, so we've got man and a woman. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the woman looks like she's wearing a, a wedding dress, and the guy, he's eating ice cream. <laughs> that maybe describes a few men. <laughs> so we've got man and woman. They're both and they're allowed to be up here with God. So we're going we're gonna to bring them over here. And they're, they're with God in heaven. And they're allowed to be there with him. And they're in this beautiful garden. And what do we have next? Six. Six. Okay. And, it, and you know what? He's eating ice cream because up in heaven, uh, when God created, he said, you can do anything you want. You, so you can even have ice cream in heaven. Um, but there was one thing that the people couldn't do. Okay. So they weren't allowed to have a one of the fruits that are in the garden. So here we have some apples. And those, it looks like they're Granny Smith, eh? That's interesting, isn't it? Because you got Adam and Eve, the first two people. I mean, who on earth is Granny? Granny Smith, who is she? But anyway, so, so maybe that was what made them curious. They, they wanted the, the apple, they wanted the, the fruit, they wanted to meet, see who Granny was. Um, so, they, the thing is, they, what, what do we got next? That's this one. Okay. So, they weren't supposed to eat from that tree that had the apple on it. Okay, so you know what? That angel that was up there with God, where's the angel gone? We're going we're gonna to take the angel out because the angel that was up in heaven decided that it wanted to do whatever it wanted to do. Okay, so the angel was a bad angel. You can tell this one's a bad one. He's got, well, if you can see his head, he's got a patch over his eyes. He's trying to look, he looks a little bit like a pirate. Um, so that angel, he decided to go his own way and do his own thing, and he, 
was, he ended up getting sent out of heaven. So we're going to bring him down here. Okay. And you know what? He also talked the man and the woman into eating from that, that Granny Smith apple. And you know what? Because they ate, they had to leave the garden. So where are they again? Okay, here they are. Um, they have to leave the garden. No longer can they be there. And you know what? You know what the, the bad angel f- figures? The bad angel figures. Where is the bad angel? Okay, he's there. Okay, bad angel figures. Ha! They're all done for. They're, they're now separated from God. They are all done for. So, people are now separated from God. I need, I need four teen volunteers. Four teen volunteers to come on up to the front, please. Okay. Okay, we got one there, one there, one there, and one more, one more. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, we got, we got four. Yep. Okay. So, what I need you to do is, I want somebody to come right here. Okay, we'll use all five of you then. Okay. So you're going to stand right here and you're going to hold on to this. Okay. We're going to be careful we don't rip it. Okay. So I need someone else to stand here and hold, hold bottom bit. Okay. And then we're going to keep on going. And we're going to keep on going. So we got one person at the end. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So when the people chose to eat the thing that God said you can't eat. They were sent out of heaven. They were sent out of, of e- even being in relationship with God. And there was, a, there was then se- separation between them and God. And so we've got a wall of separation between them. Okay. Now, Izzy, you're going to probably have to hold your breath for a second. Because <laughs> I'm going to be I'm putting a little bit of spray paint right here. You might want to just slide down a little bit. Okay, so you're not quite inhaling it. So, this was a wall of sin. Okay, so this was what separated God from the people. Actually, it separated the people from God. They now no longer could be in relationship with God. Let's bring the earth and this. Let's bring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Let's bring the earth down here because the people are on earth. Okay. What else we got? That's, that's still all right. Okay. So there's this wall of separation between God and the people. What are we doing now here? So the people think, what can we do to get back together with God? So they decide they're going to try all sorts of different things. Okay, so they, they def- some of them think, maybe if we start praying a little bit more, then we can be together with God. And so they try praying. But the wall of sin is still there. Um, we should have it. I think there's one before this one. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, where? Oh, me- so what number was, was, what number was this one? Oh, no, I know what it is. Ah, I'm going to use this angel again. Okay, so they tried praying, wherever the praying guy is. They tried praying, and that didn't open up the, the wall of sin. So they decided to try to, like, children, if ever you're really, really good, does mom or dad ever say, you are just like an Angel. Yes. So they decide, we're going to try to be like an angel. We're going to try to be really, really, really good. And maybe that wall of sin will go away and we'll be back together with God. So they try that. But the wall of sin is still there. So the people can't do anything to get back together with God. So then God decides that God is going to do something. 
Who did God send? Who did God send? Anybody know? Yes, over there. Jesus, Jesus yes. This doesn't want to blow up. Come on. Where's my straw? It's in the world? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so somebody said that God sent Jesus. So, there's news that there's a baby going to come. And so Jesus is born. Jesus lives his life. Um, and all the time, the, the, um, the, the bad angel is thrilled because the people are all done for. So God send, sends, uh, the, sends Jesus, the baby. Jesus lives and he heals and he teaches and he does all sorts of great things. And what happens to Jesus in the end? Je what happened? Two days ago, we remembered something about the cross. Jesus was crucified, wasn't he? So Jesus went to the cross on Good Friday, and um, you know what the, the bad angel figured? You know what I'm figuring, that this is almost running out of helium. Um, so the bad angel figured, ha, God is all done for, because God died on the cross. So we're going to get the other helium canister there. Because the cross has got to, look, look, got to look a lot better than this. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so Jesus went to the cross on, on Good Friday. Now, what do we have next? We have this one. It's interesting because there's nothing in it. How come there's nothing in it? What do you think? The, the, the bad angel figured that, uh, that Jesus was all done for, but... On Easter Sunday, the tomb was empty. So, there, so Jesus, he didn't stay dead. He came back to life. So what do you, what's the next one? Okay. When people went to the tomb, they discovered that, that the tomb was empty and they discovered that Jesus had, was risen. So it says on that, on that balloon, Jesus is risen. Now, sometimes one of the symbols of, of Easter um, is an animal that sometimes can look like it's dead and then it comes back new like something else. Okay, so we got a butterfly. A reminder, this butterfly is, it wants to stay close to the ground today. Um, <laughs> but the butterfly came, um, changes, doesn't it? And, um, and it reminds us of new life. And we got one more egg here. If I can open it. Austin, you open it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So all the time, the bad angel was thinking, ha, huh, Jesus is all done for. But Jesus came back from the dead. And what happened when the, um, when, uh, when the grave was empty? What happens? But the wall of sin comes apart. And so there's no more wall of sin. Thank you. You guys can go back to your seats. Thank you. So we've got the story has been told and all the time it had to do with love. Now, let's see whether we can get this one working. Okay, so it says, I love you. Okay, and it's going to say a bit more if we can get it full. I have no idea whether we're going to even have enough helium in this. So all the time, God knew what God was doing. All the time, God knew that love was behind everything. So as, as, um, as love was there at the very beginning, love is going to be there at the very end. We're probably going to burst one of these. There, there's three valves. I've got two valves. I think, it's, no, I think it's only two valves. I've got the top one done. Okay, well, there is love. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. I love you the most. So that's the story of Easter. The bad angel, look at him. He's upside down. He didn't win. He didn't win. But God won. God was behind everything. And it was love that was the most important thing. God wasn't all done for. God had a plan. He was going to take the, the get rid of the period and say it's all done for love. Now, we're going to be singing some songs. We're going to sing a couple songs. We're going to be decorating the backdrop up here with flowers. So I need some um, children volunteers. I need three volunteers. Okay, Ashlyn. Okay, you. Yep. And one more. Okay, one, one of you, maybe both of you can help, you can do it together. Okay, okay, so you're going to hold these baskets, okay? You're going to hold them near the um, front of the stairs. I'm going to move the balloons so they're a bit more out of the way. While the music's happening, come and take a, take a flower and put it up on the backdrop here. And we're going to decorate this place and make it look really nice. So let's start some music and um, let's celebrate.